Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an important update regarding the Specflow framework. So as many of you know, we have been using Specflow for our BDD behavior driven development framework in C Sharp. Anyone implementing a BDD framework in their C Sharp Selenium automation was most likely using either Specflow or Specflow Runner. Similar to how Java has Cucumber for BDD, c -sharp developers had Specflow. It's been a great tool and for a long time, the go-to choice for the c -sharp community when it came to implementing BDD in projects. However, unfortunately, Specflow has officially reached the end of its life as of December 31st, 2024. This announcement was made by Tricentis, the company that maintained Specflow. Many of you might already be familiar with Tricentis. They offer a range of commercial tools for test automation. They had been supporting the Specflow community since they acquired it back in 2019 and made several updates over the years. But now they have decided to discontinue further development and support for the Specflow framework. Specflow was created by Casper Nagy in 2009. It was inspired by Cucumber and brought BTD to the .NET ecosystem. The idea was to allow writing tests in Gherkin syntax and connect them to c -sharp step definitions. Specflow aimed to make business readable test case executables and grew in popularity as BTD adoption in .NET projects. It became the go-to BTD tool for c -sharp developers and remained open source and was actively maintained by Gasper Nagy and contributors. In 2019, Tricentis, a major test automation company, acquired Specflow. The goal was to offer better support and possibly monetize through Specflow plus tools. But then Tricentis announced that Specflow would reach end of life on December 31st, 2024. So what does this mean for current Specflow users? If you already have Specflow installed and are actively using it in your framework, you can continue to use it, your existing test will still execute or run, and you can continue creating new ones. However, there won't be any new updates or support for it. I highly recommend storing your Specflow packages in your own local or private repository, so you can reuse them in future builds or CI pipeline. This is important because the package may no longer be available on NuGet.org in the future. Here you can see that if you're going to look for a Specflow package, then you can see the description that this has been deprecated and no longer maintained. So now what do we need to do? Question is, shall we migrate our framework approach from BDD to any other like page object model? The answer is not really. When I say this, it means that fortunately we have an alternate option for Specflow. So what is the alternative? Now that is the big question, right? While Tricentis has not provided a direct replacement for Specflow, there is some good news that another open source library has emerged as a strong alternative for BDD in .NET, and it's called as Ragnarol. If you search for Ragnarol in your NuGet package manager, you'll find the official package. You can also visit their website and documentation to get started with it. I'll be creating separate videos very soon showing how to integrate Ragnarol into your PDT framework step by step. And the best part is that Ragnarol is built on top of the Specflow project. So much of what you already know will still apply. While there are some differences and updates, the migration process is relatively smooth. And I'll be covering all of that in my upcoming videos. So to summarize, Specflow has reached end of life as of December 31st, 2024. You can still use existing Specflow installation, but no new updates will be available. Technorol is the recommended alternative going forward for BDD in .NET. I'll be posting tutorials on how to migrate from Specflow to Technorol soon. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more updates. Thank you.